Don't be sorry. We have to do it. But maybe Carlson does really exist. Oh, no. This is Carlson! Well, well, you've got a dog. Matilda, did you hear this? Well, very good. I'll take care of it, don't you worry. Freaking Bok. Bok, I mean. And your smoking may be harmful for my health. You'll have to quit this ugly habit. All right. Uh... Where that you who actually advertised for housekeeper, uh, an honest and a good-tempered one, so here I am. But we invited a babysitter. Well, who needs to be educated here? What an aggressive dog. I hope, Freckin' Book, you like children. Well, actually, what can I say? I dreadfully, dreadfully love them. Okay. You can go to your work and don't you worry. I go. And I promise you, you will not recognize your child. Thank you. Give me back my donut. First of all, sweets are fattening. Secondly, you go to sleep. Thirdly, you'll have to do your homework. Uh, what else? What else? I forgot. It's so hard to bring up children. Oh, yes, that's it. Go and wash your hands. What to wash hands for? When there's nothing to eat anyway. Matilda, do you hear me? Oh my dear, take care of this animal, but be careful, the dog is dirty. all of my fish. Hello, Carlson. Hello, Junior. Listen, why don't you ask me where I've been all the time? Where have you been all the time? I've seen my grandma. Do you know what she's like? When she sees me, she shoots Carlson, baby. You are my boy. And then she flies to me and hugs me. Yeah, my grandma is the world's best hugger. Wow. 
Don't you believe me? Of course I believe you. You finally came back. I came? Just think what you say. Also, how can one fly with such a motor? I have almost crushed you in the flight. Listen. See? I need urgent refueling. I cream cake uh, will be fine. Well, I'm afraid there'll there'll be no cake. Are you crazy? Your friend comes back from far away and you don't have any cakes. But we didn't expect you. You never had. You should have hoped harder. Look, I can get you some fried sausage if you wish. Fried? Uh-huh. I'm always offered junk. Come on, bring your sausage. Oh, I'm locked up. What? Locked? Why? Uh, that housekeeper is a real house torturer. Stop crying. Stop crying. Who is crying, me or you? It's me. And I'm not. It's very fine of you. Listen, who is that housekeeper? Good evening, dear friends. Welcome to the show, The Life of Ghosts. Please take your children away from TV screens. So there are two guests in our studio. Well, the story they are about to encounter is about a very wild but attractive ghost. There is how it was. What a shame. What a disgusting show. Matilda! Matilda! Are you deaf? I'm talking to you. Have you ever seen anything like that? They show thieves at the television. And it's me who worth to be there. What a shame. So, dear friends, we're asking everyone who knows anything about the life of ghosts to let us know about it. Our telephone is 223-3222-3322. Don't cry. I'm not crying. Yes, you are. Don't panic. Just don't panic. Just guess who is the world best timer for house charges. Who? Don't you know? No. Of course, me. That's it. Off we go. Listen, why did you lie to me? About what? that you seven years old. Is that a problem? You wait for eight. Where are you? Where are you? Come over here, you naughty boy. Cuckoo. Strange. He's not there. Ah, here you are. This is funny. A boot is here. But there's no child. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Hello. Where are you? Cuckoo. Where have you been? Well, 
we were flying around a little bit with Carlson. What do you mean, flying? Like, like, like birds do? Well, uh, well, good. Uh, okay, uh, I'll, in a minute, I'll take my drops. I mean, my head drops. What? What is this? You have got a talking head at home. Here it is. Starting at us. You've never seen a television set? No, I have. Listen. Where are the legs? Wait, I'll find out. Oh, look at that. We have a real treat here. Let me introduce myself, Carlson, and this is my young Verdi. This is not fair. Stop eating do nuts. Here you are. You're so funny. She like me so much. Cuckoo. Is that you? Cuckoo, my boy. Oh, this is good. What are you doing? What's that? What, what is that? Nobody's here. And nobody... Tell me, my dear child, in which ear do I have this buzz? In your left one. Uh, you're wrong. I hear buzzing with both ears. I went crazy. I went crazy. I went crazy. What a pity. Now you see, I'm the best tamer for house torturers. Finally, there is no more buzz. Ouch! What's happening? The head is on proper place. The chair is on proper place. Madame! Actually, a mademoiselle. As you wish, mademoiselle. Greeting from the best motorized ghost in the world. I was told more than once that television watching is unhealthy. So here you go. Ouch! Don't do that. I'm scared. Let us. Let us become acquainted. Oh, please don't. Don't do it. I'm afraid of you. But why? I'm, I'm afraid of ghosts. Where did she run? I don't please this way. Is Sherry gone crazy? Is this television? Yeah? Is this the ghost apartment? You know, I have a... I have a very charming ghost. And I want to tell the world about it. I... I got it. What have you got? Carlson... You know, she wants to get to TV. She? To get into the TV? This fat house torturer wants to get into that uh, small box. Don't work. She'll have to shrink down for a four. You don't get it. Let me try to explain you everything, okay? Do that. Excuse me, who is that? That is Carlson, who lives on the roof. Listen. 
It, it was you who was buzzing in my ear. Am I right? Well, frankly speaking, yes. So that was you who was pinching my donuts. <laughs> Stop! Your milk has overflowed. Oh my god! Milk has overflowed! Wait a second, what milk? I have no milk on the stove. Joking again. Naughty. Oh, what a pity you are not a ghost. But why? Because the television crew is about to arrive. I've invented them to see the ghost. But now what am I supposed to tell them? How about me? Because I'm handsome, remarkably wise, and just plumb enough, in fact, a man in his prime. Yes, but television is overcrowded with such people. But I'm talented. Your attention, please. Now you'll see Carlson the best in the world. Come on, you'll meet him at last. So, Junior, and where is your Carlson? He's gone, but he promised to come back. Oh, dear. Dear Carlson. Фильм озвучен по заказу детского музыкального издательства.